away from Huron, South Dakota, Will Nahala! How are you guys doing tonight? It's good. I, uh, I think that street sign, road signs are a little pushy, you know what I mean? They tell you what to do, like uh, stop or yield or fasten your seatbelt, right? They tell you what to do. They're never very reaffirming, right? I think that uh, the highway authorities should use our tax money for that too. I think it would uh, cut down on accidents and road rage and stuff like that, you know what I mean? Signs that say things like, uh, hey, you're doing great, or, uh, you know, have a great day, all right? Don't let them get you down. Or, uh, you know, in a bad neighborhood, things like, uh, hey, you sure you're going the right way? Hey, just checking. <laughs> I was driving a kind of new model of car. And it had uh, a lot of new, you know, functions on it, a lot of things I'd never seen in a car. It was kind of impressive. But I still feel like there were things that were missing that I needed in a car, right? Like when you're behind someone, the uh, back lights are red to indicate, hey, don't hit this person, right? And then your blinker's yellow, like, hey, I'm, uh, I'm turning, slow down. But I think I need a green light above the blinker to say, hey, fucker, get in the other lane and pass me. I don't want you tailgating me, right? Or like uh, some, some rear, uh, you know, brights that just, they just have to flash for a second, like, hey, man, turn off your brights. Followed by a blue light that says, yeah, I know, it's cool. You're, I know, it's cool. You uh, just forgot you had a on. <laughs> whenever, I, uh, whenever I see a cop on the road, I get much the same reaction I get when I see a spider. And I know I shouldn't, I shouldn't feel that way, right? Like, I think you should get to be, know people on an individual basis. But if it's any consolation, I don't ever really get to know a spider either. Right? It's just a knee-jerk <laughs> reaction. I can't help it. Right? Getting pulled over is not fun for me. So I never have a good experience with it. But uh, sometimes I'm on the highway at night, and I'll see headlights behind me, and I get kind of nervous. So uh, you know, then they'll get closer, and sometimes I see a line of orange lights above them, and I go, hey, that's just a semi. It's all right. There's a lot of... Uh, incognito, unmarked cop cars out there. I feel like it's just a matter of time until they get, a, they like, put red and blue uh, siren lights on a semi. Like, I don't know, if I got pulled over by a semi, I think that might be a little amusing. I might actually enjoy getting pulled over that time. But uh, only the first time, right? Not if it happened again. Because, I mean, it's really only funny the first time, I think, right? Like, uh, I don't know, once the joke runs its course, it becomes a little tedious. But, I mean, I'd still be polite about it. Um, I went and did a mic earlier this week at Woodgrade, and after the show I was hanging out with some people who went, and uh, we went to the bar, and it came up in conversation that my mother's been deceased for a few years. And uh, the guy said, uh, I'm going to dig up your mom and fuck her corpse, and then I'm going to do it again. And I got really upset, right? We almost had a fight about it. And then I realized, well, when my mom died, she hadn't had sex in like 20 years, right? What if... What if me being angry is me cock-blocking my mom, right? Like, don't get me wrong, I was really upset that he said that. But, like, I, I didn't want to be an asshole about it, right? Because I feel like the difference between being a decent person and being an asshole lies in a very thin threshold that we all sort of, you know, bounce around, which is whether you think you're usually right or whether you realize that no matter how confident you are in your own thoughts, there's a good chance that you're completely wrong, right? Hey, I'm Will, that's my time. You guys have a good night, all right?